guys. What's cracking? What is crack a lacking? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, somebody give me a five for five. We will uh, get rolling. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, guys, I am not the earthquake guy. You guys know that. But given the significant of what's going on, um, I'm just going to go ahead and report on it. That's pretty much all it's going to be is a report on this. Um, I'm going to give you my... Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> that wasn't cool, was it? Anyway, um, this is going to be really, really quick and just to the point. So, uh, yeah, we have a big earthquake that happened. I was actually watching Ron over at Emergency Management Associates. He was getting ready to shut his live stream off, and this happened. Um, and this is not a, I guess, this is not a light situation. I don't want to say or put anything out there that's not there already but you can definitely what we're going to look at here guys is it's a 7-5 earthquake in taiwan which isn't something that they've never experienced before over there this happens you know from time to time over there but this one has uh produced tsunami uh threats i've seen some reports of tsunami stuff going all the way out to uh Alaska, maybe even. I know Japan has, they're talking about nine foot tsunami waves, 9.3 feet, I think. Um, I'm not sure if any of that has been reported uh, as far as on the news or anything like that, if any of that's been confirmed. But what I will say is there, and one of the first things I do, guys, is I'll go over here, obviously, to like everybody else has access to this too, right? This is Taiwan, this is a very populated area. This is a very, um, thank you, Mr. Floyd. Appreciate you, bud. Thanks for becoming a member. Um, but this is very, very, very populated area. Okay. So did it happen over land, water? Um, even when they happen over land, they can uh, produce tsunamis. And, you know, especially on an island scenario. Um, what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit and see if we can catch anything here. Um, I don't know if we will or not. Let's wait and see here. Eh, it went in too far. Sorry, guys. So, yeah. Let me um, back that off even more. I don't even know what happened there. Let's, uh, let's just reset all that. How about that? Let's do that. This site's going to be crammed. So I'll just put that to you right now. This site is going to be crammed. You guys want to go check out the quakes and stuff over there? Um, be ready for some slowdowns. Now the, now, the aftershocks are not small right now either. We've already had a 6.5 after that. Um, but let's take a look at the buoys because this is this will give you an idea because these buoys are out here in the middle, right? And with that being said, they're in the ocean, so they're detecting, they're in a vent mode. You got one way over here in a vent mode. You can see right here. You guys can come over here and check this out yourself. Again, I am not the earthquake guy, but I ain't, I do know um, a little bit about what's up, and I pay attention, and I can learn. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Thank you, A.A. Ron. Appreciate you, bud. Anybody you got a gift of membership there, please uh, say thanks to A.A. Ron. Hey, Miss V. Good to see you. Anybody else in there? Hello. I know I'm kind of uh, moving through this kind of fast because this just happened. Okay. Again, this let's we can look and see what time the first initial quake was. It was at 1958, which is what almost eight o'clock, I guess, Eastern. If you want to go there with that, um, if I'm correct there. Oh, it's 8, eight o'clock, uh, yeah, 8, 50, I don't know, UTC, oh, that ain't even UTC, that's my time, okay, yeah, so, it happened at, uh, 8.58, Eastern, UTC is here, and we, we can click on that, UTC is minus four hours, so, you know, again, UTC is just the standard, what they go off of, 
for global stuff. Um, but yeah. Hey, River. Um, also, guys, I just did uh, text Adam uh, over at Marthugal and Dex, and he said he was going to be going live shortly also. So please, that you know, feel free to, if he goes live before I'm done here, um, shoot over there and check him out, okay? Um, he's going to be digging in probably to the news reports and things like that. I can do that too, but that's I'm just here to give you guys what's going on currently as far as the situation with this. Now, um, I do have something I do want to add to this. Uh, and let me, uh, oops. Uh, give me one second, guys. Uh, okay. Let me, uh, pull that back up. All right. Let's, uh, let's just go over here to SDO. Be the easiest way to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some satellite imaging from, uh, SDO, it's from our perspective. Um, it's from, uh, it's in geosynchronistic orbit, which means it stays over the same part of our planet and it rotates with us. Okay. It rotates at 15 degrees an hour, which makes it stay over the same part of our planet. Um, but it always keeps its eye on the sun. So it rotates and it orbits Earth. To keep its eye on the sun. So, in other words, it stays over the basically the uh, would be the western Pacific, uh, southwestern Pacific actually. Um, it does a figure eight pattern, and I'm not going to go into too much detail with that tonight. Um, but this is what you're looking at here. This is the 211. Now they could they could assign this any color they wanted, um, but they gave it a purple look. Now, you can go to other websites and see the same imaging. 211 is just a part of the light spectrum we can't see with our eyes. Certain gases show up with that. So you're probably wondering, why am I showing you an image of the sun and we're talking about earthquakes? Well, there's a, a really good reason here. Whenever we have corona holes open up, it immediately puts us at a higher risk for seismic activity. Okay, that is a historical data confirmed thing that happens okay now i can't give you the science behind why there's a lot of people out there that can but i cannot all i can tell you is when we get these corona holes opening up it does increase our risk for seismic activity all the way up to volcanic eruptions um well just the kinds of events like this We've had a lot of solar weather, um, space weather hit us the past week or so. Um, this corona hole actually has been open, started opening up when it was over here a few days ago. We connected to this. So the atmosphere of the sun peels back. That's the corona. It exposes the surface of the sun. And what happens is charged particles flow out. It's a magnetic connection, right? So you get increased highly charged particles. That's what's happening. Now... What that does is it does a whole lot of different things as it impacts us. It can give us geomagnetic storming, but um, also we got to think of the global electric circuit, all those kinds of things. Things come in and they go into the core. They go right into our core. Um, so energy in, guys, means energy out at some point. So this is what's happening. Um, I just want to point that out. So I can't distinctively say, hey, this is what caused it. But I can say that this definitely contributed to it. Okay, um, so let me show you this one more, uh, one more uh, image here. This is something they're using space weather's effect on our unnatural electrical components. Um, they're bridging a gap here, trying to forecast earthquakes. Okay, and and the reason why space weather is thank you, Anna, so generous. Thank you for that. Wow, awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Really appreciate you. Um, and I'm sorry I just threw this together because this just happened. We've had severe weather where I'm at. Um, tornadoes everywhere. Big event going on. Um, so I was actually was thinking about not even live streaming today because I was afraid my power was going to go out. But um, obviously I'm here now. So, <laughs> uh, but that's what we got. Okay.
So what am I talking about here? Well, state this is the electric field at the surface. The geoelectric field at the surface. And it comes in on our poles easier, right, first. So that's why you see it come down. This is a fairly new model. Um, USGS and, and NOAA are working here um, together in tandem, along with Natural Resources of Canada. Um, all these, you know, they're just trying to bridge a gap there to make forecasting, I guess, better. I don't know a whole lot about earthquakes, guys. I, I can report on what I'm reporting on to you now, and I can't go much further. I don't know the science behind all of it. I hear words like blot echoes and, and all these other things that we talk about. And I understand when they're speaking about that, but I cannot in no way, shape, or form be able to share that information with any confidence of knowing what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm not going to come on here and pretend like a lot of other people will. Um, I'm just going to tell you my knowledge base, and that's where it's at. So I hope you guys can appreciate that, but, you know, that is just what it is. So, but I do want to say that, you know, space weather, definitely we do see an uptick, all right? We know our... our uh, magnetic field is weakening that is a fact undeniable data fact you can go look at it i know people argue about that but it is um even like the swarm satellite system that's up there um that whole swarm project the head of that a few years back i'm not sure if they meant for him to say it or not but that's the way it happened he just hey this is what's going on and i appreciate that um he actually you know they just said hey our our electric uh magnetic field is weakening by a substantial amount faster than what we thought so i want to point that out because that's happening so any other thing that we're getting from the sun any other thing that's coming from space is going to affect us more and in at greater magnitudes you know hence the word magnitude right uh irony there a little bit but it definitely does and that's what's happening okay um we see these things happen and again guys just keep an eye here and i'm not saying i would and i hate to say that i'm like really telling you there's going to be a tsunami i i think it's almost inevitable at this point that at least over here in this area the way that i'm reading all this and seeing all the reports come in um i would assume that that's probably we're going to get at least a little bit of a tsunami I'm not saying some big gigantic wave is going to rush over Japan and just wipe it all out. That's not what I'm saying at all here, okay? I don't want you guys thinking that because that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is usually by now, after these quakes are reported, they usually will remove this if it's not actually happening, okay? So maybe they're waiting on more data. I don't know. They don't usually leave this up here for this long if this is not going on. Um, almost with every decent sized quake, it's almost like a default. They will just put that right on the screen because they, they're trying to get out ahead of it, right? So within five to 10 minutes, typically they'll come back and change it, right? Now I would imagine over there, if you're living in those areas, you're going to be, see, look here, see, they're actually, this is Japan over here, guys. So let's see here. What's that say? can't see it okay my eyes suck sorry let's zoom in okay so what are we looking at here it says uh, 0.3 to 1 meters right so that's the size that they're talking about here and this is in Japan I'm not sure if that's a report because I don't know this well enough to say that and um, there's gonna be people out there that do I don't know exactly what that's actually saying that's saying that this they're expecting that i would assume it says view bulletin by clicking on the breakpoint marker okay i just did that okay well we're just gonna have to skip over that bulletin i guess um but guys just remember this is not a this isn't something just to ignore. That's all I'm saying. I've heard reports of them issuing tsunami uh, watches and warnings for over uh, in, in Alaska and things like that. I can't confirm any of that. Um, I don't know. Um, again, there's a, there's people out there that do this way more than me. Ron at Emergency Management Associates. 
obviously the big names like Dutch Sense and and uh, I think Ben over Suspicious Observer he reports on a lot of earthquakes. That's where I actually heard the blot the blot echo type of thing. Um, and I do understand what that is. I just I'm not confident in trying to relay that in any kind of accurate way. So I'm not going to. Um, but please go check everybody out. Terry Rumpel, he he reports on them over there too. Um, so guys, please just just check everybody out and make up your own mind. I'm not here to tell you what to believe or how to think. I'm here to show you what I think is going on. I'm here to show you what's going on, and I'm now casting. You know, I, I actually I stole that uh, term from Ryan Hall. Um, anybody don't know Ryan Hall, they probably should. You should go subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel. He is the biggest weather guy on the internet. It is the future of weather reporting. They live stream every tornado outbreak, hurricane, all that stuff. They'll stay on stream for 15 hours if they need to. Um, he's got a big team, and Reed Timmer was part of his uh, at the beginning. Um, but they got other people like uh, Vince and, and a lot of other people that just storm chase. And they got live footage of everything, multiple different locations. They use that Radar Omega app. I would highly suggest anybody that doesn't have that app, please get it. It is a awesome thing. Um, that's just for regular weather here. But I stole that now casting from Ryan because that's what he does. You know, he forecasts too because he's a meteorologist. He knows what he's talking about. Him and Andy, I mean, those, those two are like a tag team from, man, I mean, I wouldn't even question any of that. I mean, those guys know what they're talking about. Um, and oftentimes, they'll issue warnings five minutes before the National Weather Service will, and they're correct. So <laughs> that's just what I'm saying. So please, if you don't know who Ryan Hall is, he might even still be live right now. I don't know. Um, but I've had, we've had a lot of bad weather in my area, so I now cast. When things happen, I try to come out here and tell you about it in a timely manner, not in a hurry. This feels kind of hurried to me, um, but I don't typically do it this way. But I did want to let people know. Um, the best way the best way I can do it is use my voice. And that's what I'm doing here, guys. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. Now, as far as, uh, I guess we can go back over here to, uh, I'm going to update the buoys and see if, uh, so if you guys don't understand what the buoys are, these are actual buoys out there in the ocean. This is a system they got all set up. If you come over here and something's blinking, that means it's in event mode. That's really all I'm going to go into detail here. You can click on any of these, and it'll tell you why it's in event mode. It'll You can get into detail and everything else of the wave height, how fast it dropped, how fast it went up. Um, you know, when they, they have certain parameters. Now, every once in a while, you come out here, and there'll be a buoy in event mode for no reason, and it's probably malfunctioning, okay? So, um, there's a key here, too. You scroll down. Stations with no data in the last eight hours are in, show up in red. Hey, Sharon Third. Great. Appreciate you. Thank you for that super chat. Much love back, back to you, for real. So, um, and again, guys. I really don't have a whole lot more to share. Um, I would highly suggest when Marfugo goes live here in a little while, if he ain't already live, I don't know. I haven't looked. Um, he may already be live. Let me let me check real quick. Huh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if he's live yet or not. I'm not seeing anything. If he's not, he's not, but he will be. Um, and he'll, and I would imagine this is probably going to dominate a lot of the news for a while. Um, and again, I'm not the news reporter. I am here to show you space weather and report and say, hey, this is happening. Please go do this, do that. But please go check out Marfugel, Marfugel TV, Marfugel News. Um, they're live almost every night. Uh, you know, and when events like this happen they'll pop out kind of like i'm doing um this is close to the time they start to stream anyway so i would imagine they were probably already in the works of getting things together when this happened this may change the whole direction of their of their broadcast um i don't know i would imagine it's going to change it some 
So, but please go check him out. I would send you guys over there. Um, he's in my uh, awesome channels list. He's in my description box. Uh, Adam and Dex over on Marfugal, guys. Go check them out. Uh, most of you guys know who they are. If you're here listening to me now, you probably already know that. But please go check them out with all the details on this. They're going to have a lot more news to share with you, I'm sure. I don't have the resources for that. I can't just pull up a website. news. I could. News agencies. But you'd see me here typing and stuff, and nobody wants to see that. <laughs> um, they're, they're way more organized with that. They're probably way better to set up this to go live on something like this than what I am. As far as bringing you actual news of what's going on on the ground. Now, I will say I've seen a couple reports of people, um, some damage and things going on. I'm not going to go into detail because I can't give you accurate information on that right now. I don't want to come out here and say it and for it to be wrong, scare somebody. But if I was you guys, please just stay up and to date with this. If you guys are in any of this area, just watch. And obviously, if there's something big happening, you guys are going to get alerts on your phone probably. Um, that's what I would would assume i can't say for sure um but what we will do before we pop off i'll give you a little bit of a space space weather update and it's going to be quick let me tell you why look look at this complete trending downward of activity in x-rays so that means sunspots are very very minimal right now facing earth space weather is not popping right now not a whole lot of it now, I will say, we are expecting a geomagnetic storm on the 4th into the 5th. Okay, that's coming from, guess what? Where's that coming from? This coronal hole, which probably helped trigger all this stuff. It didn't cause it. It just was another ingredient in the sandwich it takes to make an earthquake. That's kind of what I'm saying here, guys. Okay? Um, but I don't have a whole lot more. I'm not going to keep you guys here any longer, but, um, members, anybody that's a member, please turn your bell on. Um, I'll be doing a members, uh, live stream probably th in the next couple days. Uh, I got some stuff I want to go over with the eclipse and stuff happening. I want to get some advice from you guys and your input. We're going to go over some emojis and stuff too, that I'm going to be adding if you guys want them. And, uh, I'm going to let you guys pick them. So, um, if you guys could. Uh, just turn if you're a member thanks people that are gifting memberships thanks for everybody that's, that support me and becoming members um there is a there's go, there's going to be a link in the description box that's going to make it real easy for you guys to become members i know sometimes it gets a little confusing when trying to do that so there's going to be a link at in the top link in my description box that will have that all you do is click the link and it'll tell you exactly what to do okay um, but, and Genius by Birth, Trinity, good to see you, girl. I'm glad to see you back in action. Hey, Linda, Justina, Rare, Daryl, guys, thank you. Vicky, my internet mama, Tab P, you're welcome. Um, but guys, that's what's going on. Um, if anything happens in space weather, I'll be here, but I would imagine that the focus is going to be, guess what, on the earthquake, as well it should be, okay? So, anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. God bless. Yahusha saves, and uh, yeah, you can drink this Kool-Aid. Share, 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 please. Share the stream. Drink the Kool-Aid. Share the stream. God bless. Yahusha saves. Share the stream. Pray. Pray for all these people out here, guys. Send good thoughts and love. Whatever you do, they can use it, okay? Please. So, one more time. God bless. Yahusha saves, and uh you can drink this Kool-Aid.